How's that? Is that any better? Okay. Hey, everybody. I uh, had a little audio problem, probably because I was sitting on the uh, microphone. That can happen. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. Just pulled uh, Coach 1325 out of the building. Armand and I are going to drive around the building in this brand new coach, put the slides out, and so you can take a look at it. Big thanks to Adam uh, from our marketing team for opening the garage door for us in the display. All right. Got to love driving a brand new coach. I'm actually going to take this coach up to uh, Montana in um, a couple of weeks. We're all clear here, so let's go around. Hope everyone had a good weekend. It's a beautiful morning here, right in the middle of the state of Oregon. Hope everyone is continuing to be safe, wearing our masks. What you can't see is Armand is wearing a mask right now. It's one of the things we're doing here at Marathon, is that we are um, continuing our social distancing, um, and we are, uh, taking all the precautions to be safe, whether it be at our Florida location, our Texas location, or here at the uh, world headquarters, where all of the marathon coaches have been built for over 30 years. This is Coach 1325. This is a new X3 double slide. And this is going to be one of the coaches that is featured in the calendar next year. Got a few really cool features to show everybody. One of the things that we're gonna make sure we show you, and Armand can probably show you right now, and this is from um, the family that just bought Coach 1314. They, <coughs> excuse me, show the floor and show the ceiling. Things that we miss uh, sometimes on the video is we don't show enough of the floor, we don't show enough of the ceiling. And that was brought to my attention by the new owners of 1314. So we're going gonna, gonna to show that. I'm going to pull in here to one of our favorite locations. Right behind in service. All right. Pop the brake on. All right. I've got the coin window open. I'm actually going to open the entry door also. And we're going to put this slide out. Always exciting to show everybody a brand new marathon. So what happened this weekend? Everybody have a good one? Armand, you might want to show... Uh, the, one of the things I want to show everybody as this slide out works, uh, take a look at some of the decor that is in here. There's some really cool um, decor that was put in the coach. And uh, as you can see, our curio cabinets in this floor plan do not have the plexiglass covers. You're going to see that in a few coaches, H and X. So, can't forget to grab my microphone and not sit on it this time. I'm going to jump around you real quick here. And I'm going to put this rear slide out. So tell me uh, where you guys are watching from. From where? Someone watching from England. I know we've got some uh, subscribers that watch every week from um, Australia. That's pretty cool. Um, and all over the United States, of course. Big thanks to all of you guys for continuing to watch. Uh, Marathon Mondays. I'm going to put this back here in my pocket and see if I can't 
keep you guys mic'd up with me. Um, yes, so very comfortable. One of the things that really stands out about our updated X3 or the new floor plan in the X3 is all the natural light, especially on this side. This is the driver's side. You'll see that there's no curio cabinets here or over by Armand. He's going to pan around and show you over there. There is a TV right above, but look at all that natural light that still comes through. Isn't that great? I see Michael's watching in Sacramento. Anthony down in Jacksonville. Alan Twisp, Washington. I've never heard of Twisp. Kind of like the name though. Take a look at that. As you've seen before, this TV is pretty versatile. You can watch it when it's flush against the wall uh, from this side over in the dinette, or if you're over here uh, in the salon, you've got it uh, pivoting out, and then it just clips right back in. Um, I'm gonna show you right here. I really like the storage above the microwave oven now. This cabinetry, stows away like this and then you've got the this beautiful uh, stainless microwave oven and then this really nice storage above. Isn't that great? It's a pretty color. Goes well with this leather. Corian sink, I'm always a big fan of that. Yeah, this is a really nice coach. Sub-Zero refrigerator, good storage here. You've got eight drawers here, right alongside the Sub-Zero refrigerator. I've got the galley lock on. Let's unlock that guy right there. That's cool. That's the new Sub-Zero refrigerator. That's pretty. Now, why don't you come on in here, take a look at this. This is the art feature. So uh, this is the art feature hidden door, if you will. And then if I hit, I got to find the right button here, right, guys? Yeah, this is going well. Sorry about that. I turned on the accent lighting in this half bath. Take a look at this. You got toe kick lights at the very bottom. All the way up to the water closet has accent lightings around the sink and on the backsplash. Eric in Henderson, Nevada. Appreciate all you guys watching. We're gonna head to the head to the full. See if we got the light switch back there. Yeah, let me turn on the lights for you so you can see what I'm saying. Let's go with that. Take a look at this uh, this uh, water closet. Here's the full bath here, and Armand will swivel around. I'm gonna turn the lights off just a bit here. Take a look at that shower very large shower and it's got great lighting in there. Now there are no lights on in the shower or in the water closet itself. It's all accent lighting that's on. And I also want you to remember that all accent lighting in a marathon coach is dimmable. So right now it's at full power for that accent lighting, but quickly holding down those buttons, you'll be able to see that it will, uh, It'll dim, really adds nice lights. So down at the toe kick, at the very bottom, here along the uh, deck, and then right below the vanity or above, above the countertop, you've got really good backsplash lighting. All right into the bedroom and of course we've got the bed pulled up because we had the slide out. Lots of room in here, lots of storage, really good TV. Of course audio visual in a marathon coach is fantastic but I really wanted you to get to see 1325. Really good colors. Um, this brown along with this cream color is throughout the coach. Storage all over back here in the bedroom. And then, here's the closet. 
and you see how that door is an air door, it opens halfway and then you can fold this one back to come all the way into the closet. Washer dryer on the driver's side, audio visual and cabinetry for storage on the um, curb side. Uh, also, there's a large hanging bar that L shapes around here, and this is a very big closet, guys. At six foot, five eleven, what have you, I'm standing up in this closet, and there's storage bars here, here, also back here, washer dryer, and then you've got storage above here, drawers down here, and then your audio visual with your Direct TV um, receivers over here. Yeah, that's cool. And then Okay. Push that one more time, guys. So you can shut it with the the air and then close it all the way with this. You know what I'm going to do though? I'm going to turn off these lights. I want to show you guys something. One of the things that I really appreciate about a marathon build, uh, and we've talked about it many times, utilization of space. Um, one thing we were talking about uh, over the last uh, Thursday, Friday of last week, uh, we're going to do a couple of shows on Marathon Mondays about utilization of space. Just when you have a little bit of area, you have to be able to find um, ways of using it that will really benefit the owner of this marathon and that is done in here. Come take a look at this. I didn't get to show it yet. There is a eight inch gap here and instead of just boxing it off, we've put storage. We've put actual closet space there and an outlet down there. And it's not a lot of room you guys, but the bottom line is it's room that is usable by the owners. Whoever's gonna buy this coach will use that area back there. And we're gonna be doing a couple of shows on utilization of space. So that's just an kind of a example of what we're gonna do um, in the coming months when we wanna talk about utilization of space and how, um, how creative you can get with storage. You know, when you do a custom coach, when you, you know, all of, let's face it, all of these coaches are custom. You know, putting storage right here behind the dinette. You know, this is something that in an older coach, you might find these are fixed. These do not open to provide storage. Well, engineering found a way to utilize it. There's a lot of storage behind there. There's also storage underneath the dinette, but it's just one way to get creative with the storage. And uh, it'll be exciting to do a couple of shows on how creative we've gotten uh, lately with utilizing the space that we have. Other than that, everybody, this is Coach 1325. It is for sale. Uh, this is a new X3 double slide. If you're looking for an X3, Marathon is it. You guys got to call me or email me, malw, M-A-L-W, at marathoncoach.com. That's my email. Reach out to me. Let me know. Uh, what's going on if you're looking to upgrade, if you're looking to trade in. If you've got an older coach and you want to get out of, you want to get out of uh, being, uh, doing RVing, if you want to get out of owning a coach, uh, reach out to me. Marathon is not only consigning right now, but some coaches we're buying. We're actually purchasing the coaches outright from owners. So feel free to uh, reach out to me and use me as a resource and let's see what we can do for you. Be yourself and do good things. Always be safe. Um, take care of yourselves, take care of your family, and uh, we'll see you next Monday on Marathon Mondays. Thanks, you guys.